Age gap relationships are more popular than ever. He owns item of clothes <laughs> older yeah. than me. Particularly with super rich entrepreneurs. I went from being not exactly cash poor, but to having 1.5 billion. I had five Ferraris. I used to have one for the summer and one for the winter. But age-defying romance when you're a multi-millionaire has its highs on, and its lows. <laughs> I quit. She's supposed to be the gold digger. <laughs> you know, the, the stereotypical young girl with the old man. I have plenty of small bags, baby, but I don't have an overnight bag. In this programme, we meet the super-rich couples who are decades apart, each facing their own obstacles. Mm. Being a dad again at 61 is challenging. And the millionaire who is still searching for her toy boy, Mr. Wright. Oh, he looks cute. I am concerned sometimes that they're after my money rather than my body. The question is, does money or love conquer all? For richer or for poor? For richer or richer. Or, excuse me, richer <laughs> or, or, or poor. <laughs> Dressing for 45 years, and I still don't get a break at home. Multi millionaire Nikki Clark has cut the hair of A list celebrities, movie stars, and even royalty. Just give those a minute to cook. But nobody is as important as today's client, his partner Kelly. A nice treat for you to do it. Yeah, it is. 61 year old Nikki and 37 year old Kelly have been together for 11 years. So we have a 23-year age gap. But it is, isn't it? Actually, guys, it's 24. We haven't got much time. OK. The car's arriving in five minutes. Today, Nikki and Kelly are heading to their luxurious holiday home in Mallorca for their three-month summer break. Come on, let's go. Thanks. Thanks. Nikki and I first met when I was working as his assistant in the salon. And then as my PA. For me, it wasn't love at first sight. I didn't, I didn't fancy you or anything, really. When I was, you know, at the salon, it definitely was more of a more gradual thing, which I think yeah, was I nice. Think, actually. Yeah, no, I think it, I think the same. I think, I, you know, you don't. <laughs> you didn't fancy me straight <laughs> off. <laughs> I didn't actually. You're a young junior. Lie. What are you? Two years ago, when Nicky was 59, an age when most people are slowing down, he became a father again to son Nico. I mean, being a dad again at 61 is challenging, there's no doubt about mm. that. But in just a few months' time, he's about to do it all over again. I should be driving Ferraris and, you know, doing all the stuff that you do, you know, at this age, when you get to that point, and I shouldn't really be changing nappies and getting up at six in the morning. <laughs> OK, darling, so where do you think we should go? I don't know that link. Well, we could um... go around the outside of the track. It's quite a long ride and there's some steep hills. In Belgium, 66-year-old billionaire John Cordwell and his 35-year-old girlfriend Modesta Vesnas Keiter are hitting the open road together. Let's take the first 10 minutes easy because I need to warm up. OK, let's go. Cycling with somebody 31 years your junior would be challenging enough for most people, but Modesta is also an ex-road racing cyclist. She even represented Lithuania at the Olympics in Beijing. I could help you to go up, you just... I don't need any help, you oh. cheeky monkey. The couple met five years ago on a charity bike ride for Prince Albert in Monaco. I'd only just split up with my previous partner and I was cycling along the seafront down and more towards saint -Tropez. And then in front of me is a whole clutch of cyclists, and they're all men. But then I see this blonde ponytail right at the front. And of course, I was attracted by the blonde ponytail and this very slim, athletic girl. So I got to the group of guys, and then 
sort of slid my way through and sat next to Modesta and said hi. Yeah. And, yeah. and then got, just got chatting to her. John has been married twice and has five children. I really liked his confidence. I thought, oh my goodness, who are you? <laughs> I didn't thought that he's wealthy at all. I've and got he, raggy clothes, and I? And, and very raggy clothes, <laughs> and he didn't look at all wealthy, spoiled, or, or just not be a man. But little did she know, John is one of the UK's wealthiest men. He founded the mobile phone retailer Phones For You in 1987. Let's go in here for a quick stop. John sold the business in 2006 for £1.5 billion. Pounds. Hey, come here. You look, you look after yourself, you. <laughs> Modesta has been married once and has one son. I have to be honest, the first year we started to date, um, I was, it's quite weird for myself to be um, with with a man who is 30 years old, and I first year I thought, what's wrong with me? But it just was, you, like John, he's like a magnet. You can't do anything, you just want to be with him, because <laughs> I have so much fun with him. Most women, they're not anywhere near adventurous enough for me, because I love doing everything, you know, flying helicopters, flying airplanes, sailing boats. Um, cycling, skiing, and so to have a girlfriend that keeps up with me is really good. A lot of tension, those neck and shoulders. Are you dating anyone at the moment, Lynn? Nobody in particular. OK, but you're going on dates? I'm going yeah. on dates. In London, millionaire businesswoman Lynn Cecil is indulging in one of her favourite pastimes, her weekly two-hour massage. So what are you looking for in a man, Lynn? I'm particularly attracted to tall men, because they make you feel small and feminine. It's so all finished now, Lynn, so we're going oh. to get you up now, OK? Lynn started online dating a few years ago. There you go. How do you feel? Oh, yes, yeah? good. The 72-year-old frequently dates men, 40 years her junior. OK, who's that with? I didn't set out to start dating younger men, but when I started dating, online dating, um, I found men my age, really, on the whole, were old. <laughs> they tend to, quite often to be grey of hair, grey of face and grey of personality. Here's my profile, loving laughter. 62. I've lied about my age, I'm 72. Lynn uses a website that's dedicated to older women looking for toy boys. Oh, he looks cute. 34, in the city, looking for an older woman. Lover of deep house and comedy. What is deep house? Don't know what deep house is. Well, I'm really hoping for an attraction and a relationship. Um, sex is easy, it's a WhatsApp away for all of us, but, you know, you want more than that, really. Lynn has a first date this evening. So tonight is Rob 24 West Sussex. He looks really cute. Sense of humour, quick-witted. Wow, that sounds good. And he's six foot one. How lovely is that? Bring it on. <laughs> well, you know, we are driving a, a McLaren. If, you know, we, we do roll in the Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead from time to time. In Phoenix, Arizona, multi-millionaire John Mallett is on his way to a date night with his fiance. I'm really not a flashy guy, but uh, I like nice things. John is a serial entrepreneur. He's invested in pharmaceutical, cosmetic and property companies and is worth millions. I've been with my partner for three years. People thought it wouldn't last because, of course, you know, she's half my age. And she's supposed to be the gold digger. Yesterday. 
48-year-old John is dating Najla. We just go. We just go. <laughs> She's 23 years his junior. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. And at 25, Najla is younger than John's eldest two daughters, Carissa and Lauren. Good. You guys hanging out with your stepmom? We've been calling, no, her, we've been calling her mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty I think when people see me with John's girls out and we're with John, I think they think of us as just friends. <laughs> we kind of joke, this my mom, this my mom. <laughs> and they're like kind of shocked. <laughs> The couple's age gap relationship hasn't all been plain sailing. We had people making up stories, making up lies, yep. like going out of their way to tell lies to get us to break up. And when your partner's a millionaire twice your age, there is one allegation that's bound to come your way. People, they, they have these names, Gold Digger, and you know, that's the, that's the main one. He's a grandpa, he's your dad. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But despite the naysayers, John proposed to Najla in 2017. I'm very excited to get married to John. Like this, I've been waiting for this for a couple years now. <laughs> the wedding is just weeks away, and I'm a little bit nervous, but definitely anxious. <laughs> In Belgium, 66-year-old billionaire John Cordwell is indulging in one of his very expensive hobbies. There's no such thing as an inexpensive motorsport. Good luck, baby. Good luck. These are a fantastic racing car. It's just great fun to drive. These cost about £100,000. But the £100,000 race car is only the tip of the iceberg for the cost of his hobby. Well, I'm sitting on something, Steve. He employs a whole team of mechanics and coaches, which sets him back hundreds of thousands of pounds each year. But for one of the UK's wealthiest men, this is just small change. John? Keen, isn't you? How many women are like that really keen to watch you race? <laughs> Supporting John is his 35-year-old girlfriend, Modesta, and her 8-year-old son, Leo. The age gap between us is 31 years, and uh, I certainly don't notice it. I don't notice any age gap at all. And you? Yeah. yeah. I've noticed. I feel much older than you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel much older than me. John and Modesta have been together for five years. John is my first boyfriend at that big, big, big age cap. He is very young in his heart. I am very adventurous and I've got very little fear. After three laps, John's car is missing. I feel a little bit funny, you know, a little bit nervous. I'm like, um, let's go this way. What's happened? No, I think he got hit at the back. I think he got knocked, spun, and then the clutch wouldn't work. Oh, my no, not God. That. It was so well. I know. Oh, but he's safe, he's all right. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it's good. just, just sad. He just had a little accident, but he's safe. Oh, he's there. Go. See the house. I got knocked off again. No. John won't let his age hold him back, although he admits he does sometimes feel it. Still got no barriers whatsoever in spite of all the scars of life you have so many crashes but what i've got to remind me of my age is a huge amount of aches and pains <laughs> i've got the 
zest and love of life of a 20-year-old, <laughs> but in the mornings I feel like I'm 96. <laughs> Millionaire Lynn Cecil is six years older than John and also prefers younger partners. Men her age just can't keep up. They're more fun, they're not set in their ways. They're more appreciative, I think. But when you're a millionaire, dating can raise some insecurities. I am concerned sometimes when dating younger men that they're after my money rather than my body. I would hope that I would be sensed enough to pick up on that. Lynn's date tonight is 24-year-old Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Lynn. You all right? Yeah. How are you? Lovely to meet you. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. And you? You look absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Rob is 48 years younger than Lynn. So, uh, don't really know where to start. Tell me about yourself. It's... OK. We could do that. But I don't know about you, I'm desperate for a drink. Shall yeah. we get a drink? Yeah. <laughs> when I go on dates with younger men, I tend to find that at the start they're quite nervous, so I would try and put them at their ease. Well, here's to adventures. Adventures? Cheers. Cheers. As well as a massive age gap, there is a huge gap in their net worth. So I went to university for a bit. What did you study? Philosophy. I like thinking about the world. I like thinking about the universe. Right, OK. So, did you go to cinema much? Yeah, cinema. I went to see A Star Is Born, real chick flick. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, the Freddie Mercury. What have you been to see? I, I've seen a lot of superhero things. I'm very, <laughs> very big into that. I'm, right. bit, I'm a bit of a geek in that sense. <laughs> I'm very uncultured. Is this, are we okay to eat this with our hands? Yeah, it's not. It's not like a. No, no, no. I, I think actually the the best way is probably to pick it up with your hands. I like trying new things, but the only time I've ever had anything with avocado in it just wasn't very nice. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Yeah, I think the date's going really well with Lynn. I, I really like her. I think she's. She's very bubbly, she's very, she's very confident, and she's very pretty as well, so that's always a bonus. Well, looks like the evening has come to an end. I oh, know. Feels like we just started as well. It's really flown by. I know. But thank you so much. Hey, thank you. And I'd love to see you again. Oh, that'd be lovely. Good to meet you. And you. Could I have your number, please? Of course you can. Excellent. <laughs> That day went really well. I think he might have fancied me because he asked my number, bless him, which was lovely. And he seemed to enjoy the kisses. Unfortunately, I didn't fancy him. Hey, Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Hi Kelly. 61 year old multi millionaire Nikki and his partner, 37 year old Kelly are also on a date in the playground of the super-rich Puerto Portals in Mallorca. Look, uh, is this one? That's nice. I do love yellow. It's a nice But one. before they wine and dine, they are hitting the designer shops. Kelly probably is the biggest shopper. You love to I shop, do, too. but there's a point. When you get to a certain age, you see, you've got most things. <laughs> he owns items of clothes <laughs> older yeah. than me. Older than her. <laughs> Nikki is one of the UK's most recognised and celebrated hairstylists. I'm very proud of my success. I was raised in South East London, you know, in a council house. I started an apprenticeship at 16 and I really haven't looked back. So, do you like this one? I think it's really nice. Cool. Yeah, you should get Good. it. Good. Okay. Sold. Okay. How to spend a grand really quickly. <laughs> Good. And Good. after 28 years of running a successful business, Nikki is a multi millionaire and can afford to treat his family to the things he loves to do. The obvious perk to being successful is that it gives you freedom. It gives you the freedom of choice. It gives you that freedom of experiences. Nikki loves spending time on the boat and billionaire John Cordwell shares his passion although his boat is slightly bigger. 
John's is a £73 million super yacht. He and Modesta are moored off the south of France. I bought the yacht nine years ago, and right from the beginning, my ambition was to make it the most desirable yacht on the ocean. The facilities are all absolutely perfect. The most important thing of all is that you get your crew to be the most fantastic crew in terms of friendliness and efficiency. John is a self-made man. He wasn't born into money. Yeah, I was brought up in the back streets, the Terry streets of Stoke-on-Trent, and there was no money in the family at all. You know, we were poor. John and Modesta have just celebrated their five-year anniversary, but don't yet live together. Modesta lives in the south of France and I live in sunny Stoke-on-Trent. It's a bit of a contrast, but we, we just make the relationship work by uh, Modesta commuting whenever she can. I do as well, but uh, I've got so many commitments, it's very, very difficult. And it, it is challenging, but, uh, but I guess that keeps the relationship even fresher. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Can't wait for our romantic dinner. <laughs> just you yeah. and me. Just you and I tonight, Aww, nobody yeah. else. Yeah. On this yeah. beautiful boat. Back in Phoenix, 48-year-old millionaire John Mallet and his 25-year-old girlfriend Najla already live together and are just weeks away from the next big step, their wedding. They haven't had the easiest time as a couple. Their family have objected to their relationship. In the beginning, my family members didn't take the relationship serious, even to the point that one of my daughters flat out basically refused to meet her. John has four children from two previous marriages. His daughter Jessica had strong opinions on her dad's age gap relationship. I refused to meet her. I didn't want to meet her. I didn't want anything to do with her. I think the defining moment that changed for me was when, after my dad proposed, that was when I realized that they were happy. But not all of John's family have come around to their relationship and the wedding. My mother certainly would not approve, and she won't be there. So, yeah, not, not all of our family will be there. You might think most parents would be happy for their daughter to marry a millionaire, but that wasn't the case for Najla's father. I was nervous about John meeting my dad because John is white. A lot of people have issues with people with different color skin or, or because someone's got a 23-year age gap. I, I don't know. It's, it's strange to me. Najla's father still has strong concerns. They aren't sure he'll even come to their wedding. <laughs> well, I'll have them then. Who wants to play? <laughs> Nikki Clark, partner Kelly, and son Nico are in their £1 million apartment in Mallorca. This is the last break they will have as a family of three. I'm pregnant with our second child. Are you? Let me see it. Nico. This isn't Nikki's first time at parenthood. He also has two grown-up children. I think my older children were probably slightly surprised when, you know, I said that we were going to have children. They probably have slightly more conservative attitudes to things. Mm. And we do some melon? And two years ago, Nikki's eldest son yeah. became a father, making Nikki a granddad. What about salad? Are you a bit young for salad? Mm. What? With a 28-year age gap between his children, Nico, do some bread. it's easy to forget the challenges that come with toddlers. Why don't you sit on Daddy's lap? I'm going to sit on my lap. Yeah. Or why don't you move there? I think not. <laughs> come and then. find a straw with me then. Come on, good boy. Come this way. Nikki has found there are benefits to being a dad in your 60s. I'll start, I think. I'm definitely more patient with him, and I certainly can take more time. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily um, on every single day working from 9 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. Wow, it's swimming time. There may be upsides, but there are also downsides. Ready? I think there are... Um, certainly problems that can throw up 
uh, when you've got massive age gaps. Ready? Up we go. The sheer fact that you've got go. somebody who's maybe go. not going to be around for the important years, I don't know. Don't you just feel so good to be alive when the sun's shining? Top off on the car. In London, millionaire Lynn is in her limited edition sports car and heading to visit her 99-year-old mother. I'm currently driving a Lexus 430SC. Apparently it's quite rare. Lynn started her own recruitment business at the age of 27 and it wasn't long before it was turning over millions. I've had some lovely cars over the years. I had five Ferraris. I used to have one for the summer and one for the winter because you need a convertible in the summer. But before the sports cars and the Ab Fab lifestyle, Lynn had a vital item to purchase on her shopping list. The first thing I did that was really important, I bought my parents a house. And my mother's still there today. It was wonderful to be able to make a difference to my parents' life. Hi, Mum, I'm home. Hi, Mum, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Yeah. Lynn's mum, Barbara, is just 70 days off her 100th birthday. Hi, one cup of tea. Oh, lovely. Lynn always updates her mum with news of her love life. I have to confess to you, Mother, that I had dinner with a 24-year-old. Not for me. And at 99, Barbara is just as strong and open-minded as her daughter. I don't mind her going out with younger men. I raised strong, independent daughters. I think somebody like James Bond will suit her. Suits me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. One, two, back straight. If you are dating someone half your age, you want to be able to keep up with them. I quit. And to do that, you need to keep fit. Baby, I'm just trying to get you looking good for the wedding, baby. 48-year-old <laughs> John is being put through his paces by his 25-year-old fitness trainer fiancé, Najla. Two more. With our wedding coming up, I want John to be in the best shape of his life because I think he would look way more hotter. One more, baby. <sighs> nice work. These 20-year-olds can't compete with me. <laughs> and after a good physical workout, the pair decide to give John's credit card a bit of exercise. Oh, it's Valentino. Cute. I have plenty of small bags, baby, right. but I don't have an overnight bag. Najla has a gazillion <laughs> handbags. I'm always popping up with a new bag or mm -hmm. a pair of shoes mm -hmm. or something for her. I just love, I love getting her stuff. It's super cute. I like I it. I love it. John is very generous with gifts for Najla. A couple nice purses, um, a couple of shoes, a couple of trips, brand new. Mercedes convertible car <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah, just a little little Christmas gift, a um, nice uh, Mercedes <laughs> AMG convertible. <laughs> That's gorgeous. People having these ideas about me being after him for his money. I, I, I guess I could understand where they're coming from, but that's not what it is at all. Can we take a look at this? It was John's personality. It's not about money or the stuff. It's about love. It's 1049. Thank you, baby. I love doing this. I, you know, it puts a smile on her face. Nikki and Kelly are back in London and have an appointment at an exclusive private hospital. This is the baby's heartbeat. Quite fast, isn't it? It's always it's across the head like this. Yeah. Wow, okay. The placenta is at the back, and that looks healthy and well. There's plenty of fluid around the little one. So oh, that's you, good. 
The legs are up here. I, I can't know. even see legs. <laughs> you look at the set. I can well, see the spine. There's, there's the spine. There's that the spine. I can see. I mean, it's. And there's the head. I was actually looking to see if I could see some hair, Nikki. There's, we see oh, a little yeah, tiny just, bit just yeah, along yeah, here, yeah, but see. there's not much. It's a bit early. The baby is due in just over two months' time, so Nikki and Kelly have arranged to look at the delivery suite. Thank you. Okay. Just from similar to what you had last time. Yeah. Yep. You'll have your um, post support here. The midwife mm -hmm. will look after you. Your consultant will still be checking on you. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on breastfeeding this time? Yeah. Yep. Kelly will be having a cesarean section, as she did with Nico. When Nico was born, I stayed in the Portland for five or six days, and I plan to do the same this time. Um, not only for the care, but the uh, the food was pretty good. <laughs> Afternoon tea every day, which was lovely. <laughs> Well, I'll just show you the other yes, side sure. of the suite. So this is the living room area. Yep. This is where, where I'll be staying. Yeah. Yeah. Prices for a suite at the Portland for six nights start at around £19,000. I'm done. <laughs> Perfect. That's him sorted. Yep, that's me sorted. <laughs> Nikki and Kelly are in good company in choosing this hospital. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan, had their son Archie here. It will be here before you know it. John Cordwell and his girlfriend Modesta are in John's home county of Staffordshire. We're going to visit the new Cordwell International Children's Centre. This centre is, has been built specially to help children with over 650 illnesses, but also to specialise in children with autism. The centre cost £18 million. John became a billionaire in 2006. When I sold the business, I went from being not exactly cash poor, but not having a lot of cash, to having 1.5 billion, which is a huge sum of money. And, uh, and it immediately troubled me as to what I was going to do with that when I died. And I knew I didn't want to leave it all to my children and family because it didn't make any sense. That sum of money is preposterous. He's decided to leave 70% of his wealth to charity. Hello. Hi, John Cornwall. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank Hi. you. Hi. We're coming to have a look around because we are wondering whether or not to get one of our children assessed. So you think he's got autistic tendencies, do you? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Modesta also shares John's passion for charity. I can't imagine being with a woman that wasn't charitable. And I can't imagine being with anybody that's more charitable than Modesta. She's just so passionate about it. How old are you? Uh, 19. 19, oh, big boy. Fancy a good job? <laughs> How could I refuse? <laughs> just have a drive around. Hold on tight. It's so special to be able to change people's lives. You know, I can go out and do all the wonderful things that rich people do, you know, with boats and planes and all of that fun. And I really do enjoy all that, but enjoy of doing this probably way surpasses that. At 72 and currently dating men 40 years her junior, Lynn invests heavily in attempting to turn back the clock. I feel relaxed just watching. I'm not <laughs> even the one having the treatment. I just need the help, darling. <laughs> Don't want any sagging and bagging. Today, she is having a facial treatment and is joined by her best friend, Hugh. To keep myself looking as good as I can, <laughs> I do work at it a bit, if I'm honest. I have two-hour massages, Pilates every week for an hour and a half, facials every couple of weeks. So what's been happening since I saw you last? Fill me in. First of all, I had a date with a 24-year-old. And how was it? Do you know, he was really lovely. I feel a butt coming. Um, just as a friend. Was it the age that put you off? Was it just a bit too young? He hadn't had avocado before. Oh, blimey. Oh, <laughs> a girl doesn't mind educating That's... a man a bit, yeah. but there is a limit. So I think I'm going to look for a little bit older. Right. And I've been looking online. I've got various possibilities. 
I think on the whole, my friends are amused by me dating younger men. I guess it makes a topic of conversation, I don't know. Some are horrified with the more conservative ones. Cheers, darling. Ooh, Hello, older. handsome. Children, some to a previous relationship. Some to a previous relationship. Some, yeah. Seven, is he a Von Trapp? Five. How many you must sons? know how many children you have. Oh, well, <laughs> Boris well. Johnson doesn't. <laughs> so. He says open-minded. I always think that means they're looking for a lot of sex. Kinky sex, well, right? tick. <laughs> right. Oh. oh. That's not the best photo he could have taken, right? He's really handsome. Mm. He'd probably be fun to shag, but I think he's probably got more prospects to date. <laughs> I would love to have somebody special in my life, although I have a great family and friends that I spend lots of time with. It would be a bonus if I found that special person. It's the morning of John and Nigella's big day, and the couple still aren't sure if her father is going to walk her down the aisle. While Nigella is getting ready, John's having a drink to steady his nerves. I've been married twice before. Um, this one is, before I felt like I was in love, but I was missing the feeling. You know, it's crazy to have such a big difference in age, but here's the deal. I think the maturity level's about the same. I'm, I might be a little less mature than her, <laughs> so it, it tends to work out extremely well. The ceremony is less than an hour away, and it's going to be a grand affair with over 200 guests. How much is the wedding going to cost? We're pushing uh, six figures on, on this deal. But all the money in the world doesn't mean as much to Najla as her dad being there for her big moment. And he's just arrived. So my dad's going to be walking me down the aisle today. I'm actually really excited about it because I wasn't sure if he um, wanted to be a part of this, but it turns out that he's happy to be here. And her mum's there too. It's absolutely gorgeous, bangingly gorgeous. Yeah, she's wearing that dress. Very, very happy for her and John because I see the real love is true. I'm shaking. <laughs> 72 year old millionaire Lynn Cecil is dressed to impress and heading on another date. Hi. These are for you. Lynn's decided to go for a slightly older man this time 31 year old Manveer. Cheers. Cheers. So, how have you been? I haven't seen you for a couple of years. Yeah, it's been a while. This isn't the couple's first date. I originally had a date with Manveer a couple of years ago, and then it sort of fizzled out. Anyway, we're getting together again. So, obviously, neither you or I have got married in the last couple of years. Not in the last couple of years, no. So, how uh, young are you dating at the moment? I did have a date with a 24 year old. Oh, wow. So, how much older have you dated? Oh. I guess in, in the 50s. Okay. Yeah, generally. You know I'm a year or two older than that. I do. I mean, obviously, I'd have lied about my age online. <laughs> You know what the problem is, I think it's because you just look so young, you, can, you know, I, I oh, just you assumed... Are Mr. Smooth. I just Manveer assumed has been that. dating older women for the last five years. Nice. Most of my friends are older and, yeah, I kind of feel like I was born in the wrong time. I really do. Well, uh, it's been lovely seeing you. And you. Hope to see you again. Yep. Although I'm not 24, so I don't know. <laughs> you know. Uh, neither am I. I'll be in touch, yeah. Great. I'll Thanks. head off now. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You. Thank you, darling. Mm. No, it's been lovely to see you. Honestly. And you. Right. It was really nice to see Manveer again. He is such a lovely man. He's genuine. He is drop dead gorgeous. Easy to talk to, interesting. Yeah, just really lovely. Lynn dated Manveer again two weeks later. We laughed a lot together. We had a lot in common. There seemed to be a spark. So I'm hoping this one might go further. It's a big day in the Clark household. Oh, look at this, Ismael. 
It's their son's second birthday. So we're having a party for Nico's birthday today and um, we've got a jungle theme. Kelly's parents and Nikki's 96-year-old mum, along with other family and friends, have come to celebrate. It's nice for us. I'm really close to my mum and dad. And Nikki gets on really, really well with them. Nikki is five days older than my mum. So that um, could be interesting for some people, but it's, it's just what it is for us. And I think... Even though my parents are quite young for their age, Nicky's so much younger. He doesn't seem like the same age as my parents. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. They're very happy together and that's very important to me. He's a very good dad, very good to Kelly. Nicky's very young in his ways and Kelly's very mature, so they probably meet in the middle for that reason. There isn't long to go until baby number two arrives. You see the snake in there? Can you see the snake? <gasps> Ten worms wriggling. <laughs> oh, no! I am looking forward to baby number two. I think. Excited? It... Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. So they are both looking forward to their new arrival. Only time will tell if it's Nikki's last. Happy birthday to you. Wow! Across London, the creme de la creme are gathering for a charity ball. It's hosted each year by John Cordwell. The main pinnacle of our fundraising is the butterfly ball. And it's crucial that we make a success of it because it raises more money than any other event by a long way. Um, we have about seven or 800 guests every year. Since becoming a billionaire at the age of 49, he has dedicated the majority of his time to his children's charity. It's a mix of very wealthy people, celebrities and sometimes royalty. Thank you. Modesta has become an ambassador for the charity. She organises her own fundraising ball and bike ride in Monaco each year. It's very exciting. It's a very special day. Long-distance relationships aren't for everyone, but John and Modesta make it work. We just celebrate our fifth anniversary, and, um, yeah, what I could say, just see my future forever with John. What? Well, it's good, thanks, sir. <laughs> well, well, sounds, sounds good to me, darling, yeah. <laughs> It's John and Nigella's wedding, and despite some of their family and friends not agreeing with their relationship at the start, they're about to become husband and wife. We both want to have a successful marriage, be happy, um, show others that this relationship isn't weird or anything, that, you know, it's just like any other type of relationship. And Nigella's father is here to give his daughter away. So I, John, I, John, take you, Najla, take you, Najla, to be my wife, to be my wife, for richer, for poorer, for richer or richer, or excuse me, richer or, 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 or poorer, <laughs> or, or slightly less rich, <laughs> in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, <laughs> till death do us part, till death do us part. I now pronounce you man and wife. You can kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Malat wedding. Look how beautiful this woman is. And it wouldn't be John Mallet's wedding without a flash party. It doesn't seem real. It's unbelievable. I can believe we're married. I'm a blessed man. You know, I've got an amazing life. Uh, now I have an amazing wife. <laughs> but I, I would just tell you this, don't let differences separate them. People let differences bring a wedge in front of them. And I think the differences, our differences, is what make us strong. 